Good morning, folks. We've got a sun dive and comet, earthquake, more winter weather, New Zealand colliding, the Magellanic Cloud Bridge, and cosmic jets. Let's go to spaceweathernews.com. Finding the last 24 hours on our star, exceptionally calm, little bright active region, not flaring at all. Large coronal holes on the disk, but we still await intensified solar wind from them. Geomagnetic conditions are quiet while we wait. There is considerable plasma filament activity, which is not posing more than a risk of dirty dancing over the limbs. We're zooming out with SOHO coronagraphs here to see the sundiving comet on approach and entering the corona. There was no re-emergence, so the tiny body is almost certainly atomized and plasmified. While we await the solar wind, hopefully we are all remembering that Earth began magnetically connecting to these coronal holes a few days ago. In the morning news show on the 24th, we set the earthquake warning due to the coronal holes. Yesterday on the 25th, we showed the four-way alignment of Earth, Mercury, Sun, and Jupiter was beginning to have its effect too, and the uptick has hit its stride. After a couple of six-pointers, motion on the Iran-Iraq border hit 6.3, where thousands had to spend the night without power in freezing conditions. Buildings have collapsed. Hundreds are injured. A thin line of lightning seen here across the Gulf of Mexico is the southern reach of a powerful low driving through the states and dropping a major winter storm with the help of a strong polar vortex dip into the region. The snow keeps coming, the cold keeps coming, and the records keep falling by the wayside. It is not even winter yet in the north. Folks, in a few hours, InSight is going to land on Mars and we can watch it live. The data will be coming up from the lander and relayed by the first ever interplanetary CubeSats. In the link below, you can find a link to the live stream of the Martian landing, along with others, fun tools you can interact with and play around. Interesting note on New Zealand. The big New Zealand quake two years ago, you might remember because our forecasting model had a giant red alert star over the area. Well, the earthquake apparently is pushing the islands closer together, a whopping 13 inches. But it is, however, appearing to be the first of such shifts in a new, constant flow of collision between the North and South Islands, eventually. Let's talk the Magellanic Clouds, the primary dwarf satellites to the Milky Way galaxy. The large Magellanic Cloud is a bit of a tiny beast. Despite being much smaller than our Milky Way at large, it's already likely eaten at least one other dwarf satellite, and now it appears to be eating another. The Magellanic Bridge connects the large and small dwarf satellites, and for the first time, the proper motion of the stars has been measured. The small cloud is feeding the large one bit by bit over cosmic time. Last but not least, how do you begin to dissect cosmic jets? They can be found at powerful star systems and active galactic nuclei. The first thing you have to do in order to properly analyze them is find a young one. Too much of the story is over in a mature jet, not to mention the confounding factors in obfuscation. So you find a young jet, you analyze it in every way imaginable, and you begin to find the gorgeous fountain structure sliced and diced up nice for no price. That paper is free on Cornell's archive and lots of visual stimuli. Last night's video, Top 5 Natural Threats to Global Civilization. The name pretty much says it all. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.